Today we're taking the giant Ibis bus from Phnom Penh to Siem Reap to see Angkor Wat. Watch my video on our experience there in Siem Reap. Outfit of the day. We're going to, where are we going? Where are we going? Um, Siem Reap. Waiting on breakfast. We have to be there at least quarter past eight, right? That's the earliest. And it's eight o'clock right now. Yeah, they said at least. So that's I'm saying the, the, the earliest. It's eight it's eight fifty. So we're hoping it's eight eight thirty to get there. because um, we still need to travel there. How, how long is it? Ten minutes? It's about ten minutes with a tuk tuk. It's this guy. Let me tell you this. The Grab company operates just like the Uber app, but in this case, you can get a tuk tuk or a car. We booked our tickets online, and first impressions the seats were comfortable with plenty of leg room, not a lot of overhead space though. We were lost on the bus because our tuk tuk driver got lost, but as you can see, we made it. On the bus, I've got my towel here because it's quite hot. It's a wet towel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jayan Ibis Transport to Phnom Penh City. On behalf of Jayan Ibis, I would like to say thank you so much for your traveling with us today. This is where we've stopped. 10 minute break. So Lori told me that they had tomato sauce ones so I asked him to go and change. So let's see what you got. Yeah. Okay, let's try these. Nice. Our seats were allocated so we could sit together. There was Wi-Fi on the bus and plugs to charge your devices. The bus stops twice during our journey. Okay, so we've stopped for lunch. Um, and a break. And some food. Ooh la la. Sweet potato. Nice. Enjoy this delicious food because we were given menus on the bus to place our lunch orders. So when we arrived here, our food was ready. Unfortunately, the menu was limited, so I was a bit annoyed by this. Go on. Oh, I, wasn't, I wasn't recording. I wasn't recording. Yeah, keep going. You just keep acting. we each got a drink and some snacks to munch on. We're now in CM Ring. We had such a, a bit of a murky start in the morning, I guess. You want to call it murky? But yeah, uh, traffic. Our tuk tuk took us to the wrong place. I, I don't know what's wrong, what was wrong with the location. And yeah, Lori nearly gave up. <laughs> Them. Let's just go. So we went to the actual place, and we were what? Ten minutes late. But like it, yeah, it was about ten minutes. Yeah, it was about ten minutes. Just, just minutes before late. nine. Yeah. And, um, the bus was still there. and the bus was still there. The bus was meant to leave at eight forty-five. So, cheers, Lori. To a good time in CM Reap. Right. Our return journey was quicker. We had to get the small bus because we needed to get to the Thai embassy by 2 p.m. to collect Lori's visa. We're now in a Kumbi, Kumbi style bus back to uh, Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Hopefully it's a good journey. It's a different experience. It's uh, different from the bus. Looking out the window, I admired the beautiful scenery of Cambodia, which was quite varied. From rice fields to markets to animals and well built up areas, On this small bus, we were only given water and nothing else. There was no Wi-Fi and other perks, but like I said, it was cheaper. The car park restaurant. That's our vehicle over there, the one up to the far end. And there's a restaurant over there. 
We've stopped at another service station, so we're just having a, a juice. Laurie, say hi. We will arrive the final stop of the. Uh, we will reach the Thailand Base Bus Terminal. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please uh, check in your personal belongings before you leave from the bus. The big bus would have arrived around 3:15 p.m., and we were flying out that afternoon to Thailand. So we were waiting for our um, Uber Tuk Tuk, <laughs> and he's nearly here. And I think this is him. Hello? No, no, no. No? That's not him. Oh, there he is doing a U-turn. Is that 3956? Yeah, right. 